It's your boy Gunan Daos back with another bank on video by ladies and gentlemen. Some awesome transfer news, of course, some more Arsenal news as well. Everything will be discussed in this video, so stay tuned and watch the video till the end. And if you seek daily Arsenal content like this, and if you're new to this channel, if this channel was ever recommended to you as an Arsenal fan, I would want you to actually uh, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon, so that of course you get you you stay updated with your beloved club Arsenal. And of course. I'm sorry if you can hear any sounds, you know, just can't help it this time around as well. But moving on, let's just jump into, into it because Arsenal are looking at a very good centre-back right now. Of course, you've seen the thumbnail and of course we're going to talk about it. Merai Demiral, yes, Merai Demiral is, uh, is what Arsenal are actually scouting at the moment. But what is the real situation around it? Because club scouts have watched a 22-year-old Turkey star Merai Demiral. But he's unlikely to leave Juventus with Arsenal set to widen their search. But yes, talking about more stuff, they are looking at Merai Demiral as well. Yes, it has been suggested to them that Merai Demiral would be the perfect fit into this Arsenal playing eleven. I would love him. I would love him to come to Arsenal, man. That would, that would add so much, so much more avenues. But moving on, uh, talking about more stuff, Darren Bent has urged Mikel Arteta to re-sign Jack Wilshere for Arsenal. He's on a free transfer. The midfielder is also available on a free transfer. Ex Spurs striker Darren Van says, I hope uh, he does return. Pay as you play, Jack Wilshire. Why not? He's got that creativity, and I know he'd be hungry to go back to Arsenal. I know how much he loves the club. I'm not saying give him a normal contract, pay, but on a pay as you play, uh, I take him back tomorrow. So Darren Ben would want uh, uh, you know uh, Jack Wilshire to return to Arsenal. As soon as tomorrow, let's see if that is uh, going to be a reality or not. But also, let us talk about it because Premier League clubs could host uh, tens of thousands of fans inside stadiums by January if there is no spike in coronavirus cases, according to certain reports. On Monday, it was announced football fans will be welcomed back into the stadium on December the 2nd. Thousands are still set to be locked out with outdoor gates capped at just 4,000 with the exact limit dependent on the local uh, rates of the cases. Uh, but that number could be boosted massively in early 2021 with plans for pilot events hosting tens of thousands of fans. However, the plans are set to include only some Premier League clubs. So you need to understand the cases around that area, the cases around that region should be, should be less and that is what will be considered as well. But there is definitely a big fan in uh, Kevin Campbell for Joe Willock. So Arsenal star Joe Willock is a rare gem and has a huge future in football, according to Kevin Campbell. Now he says, I think Willock uh, has a huge future in football. He is a rare gem. There are a few midfielders that like him who run in behind and take a chance. He makes the centre forward's life easy. It will take a bit of time for him to get used to first team football. But once he does, he will be very, very important for Arsenal. So let's see how things will turn out. Of course, I want Joe Willock, the quick feet midfielder, to actually improve upon for Arsenal. And uh, talking about more stuff, uh, Rio Ferdinand was left baffled by Rob Holding's reaction following the draw with Leeds United. Now, after the final whistle went, the defender celebrated as he pumped his uh, arms in the air. So Ferdinand said, I saw Rob Holding when the whistle went, delighted and fist pumping. I can understand that, but I'm sure they will be looking for more because they were very fortunate to come away with the point because Leeds opened them up on numerous occasions. They could not believe their luck. So Rob Holding, win it next time around, bro. Let's do it. Let's have a victory. You know, that'll be good. But talking about more stuff, Brendan Rodgers could end up managing Chelsea or Arsenal according to Jamie Carragher. Well, Carragher believes one of the London big guns a good mover for the Northern Irishman when they next decide to make a change. He told to Daily Mail that Brendan Rodgers is the best British coach out there, no doubt. Maybe you could argue that the Liverpool job came too early. But I think he did a good job, coming closer than any manager to winning the league in 30 years. Maybe it would be difficult to go back to Liverpool or to coach Manchester United, given the Liverpool connection. But I think he'll be on up for the top jobs in this country. Maybe England too. So that could make that could pave a way for Brendan Rodgers to manage either Chelsea or Arsenal, according to Jamie Carragher. I would like him because he's 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 turned around Leicester completely. I like it. I like what he's doing at Leicester City. But talking about more stuff, Tony Adams has admitted that Arsenal star Bernd Leno has proved him totally wrong 
in terms of the things happening. So following the goalkeeper's impressive display against Leeds United, Tony Adams said, I questioned recruitment. Willian, Pepe, did we need them? I questioned the whole Martinez goalkeeper we let go instead of Leno. But Leno, he pulled off a fantastic save. So he kind of is making me eat my words a little bit. So of course, we all know Tony Adams, like many Arsenal fans, were regretting or rather calling out Arsenal in terms of saying that no way. You did, a, you did a big mistake of letting Martinez go and keeping Leno, or rather, he's now. Uh, of course, he would want you would want him to eat his own words, and of course, that's not a bad part, is it? But moving on, well, uh, talking about beautiful stuff, Granite Xhaka. Two things about Granite Xhaka. Of course, uh, Nicola Pepe, as I already mentioned, actually posted that yesterday I have let my team down at a crucial time of the game and there is no excuses for my behavior. I am deeply sorry and I would like to apologize to the fans, my teammates, my coach and everyone else at the club. So this is what Nicola Pepe posted on his Instagram account. Granit Xhaka commented, commented below that saying that keep going brother, you come back stronger, we are with you. Of course, Granit Xhaka also posted this uh, beautiful image with uh, uh, you know on instagram with kiran tierney no problems here kiran tierney of course the left foot union is also what he's also mentioned as well so of course i think of course there should not be any problem between these two because of course we all know what happened alioski the whole the whole situation yes after the after the whistle went out so yes moving on while well, talking about more stuff bukayo saka Completed more passes to Aubameyang in the Leeds game than Willian and Pepe and Willock combined. Saka made three passes. Willian, Saka, oh sorry, Willian, Pepe and Willock made only two. Combined made only two, but it was Saka who did three alone. The link between midfield and attack has almost been non-existent all season. And it does not look beautiful, is does it? Also, while well, Arsenal have been offered the chance to sign Christian Eriksen, but Arsenal are not planning to make a move for the midfielder at all. They are not looking at Christian Eriksen at the moment. So let's see if that is the reality or not. But also, while talking about more stuff, there, is, there are more Arsenal youngsters that are travelling to Malta. Already I posted this on my uh, 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 previous video as well. Miguel Aziz, Ben Cottrell make the way as well. Yes, even for Ron Balogun was also on the plane. And after news emerged that this week that Arsenal are also set to reopen contract talks with Fowler and Balogun as well. Also, also they posted on Twitter, Miguel Aziz actually retweeted this image and quoted of that he's really happy about it. And of course, Fowler and Balogun is really happy. Is, that is what he tweeted out as well. So yes, the youngsters are ready. Aren't they? I mean, he posted out uh, this emoji with at Europa League. So Balogun is ready, ladies and gentlemen. And so is Miguel Aziz and also there's another another guy who posted an image on social media not that you could care of care about him more but Hossam Awar posted this image with a cloud emoji and of course a football emoji is what he wanted to say moving on well Christian Eriksen has had actually in 2015 given the verdict about Mazut Ozil in 2015 actually uh, he said that I used to watch Ozil when I was at Ajax and he was at Real Madrid uh, Ericsson back in 2015 said it's a joke how good he is. So Christian Ericsson a fan of Mesut Ozil of course, of course, who isn't? Who wasn't also back in the day? And Red Bull Salzburg Sporting Director Christian Frond has spoken about Zubozolai he says and hear me out, he says, of course you would like to have the player in the club as long as possible let's see what happens in winter but there is a high probability that he will move to a big club. So of course, it's already mentioned, yes, it's also written in the stars that Dominique Zobosolai is moving out of Red Bull Salzburg and yes, uh, yes, the sporting director already mentioned. So of course, they would be looking at some players to replace him. So let's see who are they signing as a replacement. But more importantly, January is the only time, the only time period that he's going to wait at Red Bull Salzburg. And of course, a lot of clubs are in the mix even even in the summer, I mean, he had actually uh, been waiting for a lot of clubs to come for him. Nobody actually came in uh, with a good offer. There was one offer, but it was too low for uh, Salzburg to consider. But it's only going to be about the release clause. So who's going to come in for 20, with 25 million pounds? 25 million euros, I'm sorry. Let's see. Even Arsenal are interested, so I don't know what happens. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came here. All the reason news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day, twice. So sit back, relax, and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in the next one. And don't forget, 
Let's do it, guys. I think I'll be live too today as well. So, cheers. Uh, join me on my live. Cheers.